what's going on guys welcome back today we're finishing up season one of my hero academia and last episode episode 12 last batch of episodes i think i put out three episodes uh was great man was great all might showed up and showed them what it means to be a hero to show them how to be a pro and i'm glad that the students were there to see at least some of them was there to see how these heroes get down you know what I'm saying? Like, but definitely getting to see the number one hero um, get down. So today we're just going to finish up the first season and then I will start. Next upload will be season two starting. <clears throat> um, also, so we're just going to do that one episode today, episode 13. I will be watching the after credit scene to see how they're going to lead into the next season. Um, but definitely, man, I'm I was happy to see it, it this is such a light a light hearted um show it but heavy at the same time you know what i'm saying like the 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 representation the um the go beyond plus ultra those sayings are you know what i'm saying it's just all constitutes um talent plus hard work man you know you guys already know how much i preach that over here it's very important if you are blessed with a lot of talent to have hard work to it you will be a uh, a uh, uh, forced to be reckoned with in this world so let's go do this man we're here let's go do this my name final episode of the season so let's do this i'll see you guys for the review all right season one of boku no hero academia um my hero academia very very good anime so far man i'm enjoying it very much this last episode how they wrapped up everything um all might thinking that he may have lost some more time of when he can really go into that form um his hero form so we'll see but deku did seem to do something different with his legs there at the end with the speed um i'm guessing they're gonna explore it a, um, a little bit more in in season two because they showed it like three times i want to say they showed it bak um bakugo remembered it um they showed it again when he jumped um how fast he was moving even the villain was talking about it so they showed it a couple of times and usually when anime does that it's usually something that they're going to explore more in the upcoming episodes so I'm looking forward to it to see how he improves on his powers overall anyways to see you know what I'm saying if he's still going to be struggling in season two or he's going to get better at it of you know the impact on his body that his powers are having is going to be less and less as he goes along is as he learns to control the power a lot better of one for all so looking forward to the second season of course i like all the heroes that they're introducing um i like the heroes that showed up at the end to clean up it's pretty dope um i like the fact that they look so cool <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i'm a comic book fan so when i see stuff like that heroes show up in the nick of time if you guys saw endgame um you know what I'm talking about. If you saw Endgame, when everybody showed up for Captain America, that was the coolest moment to me in the entire movie. The entire three hours of that movie. That was the coolest moment for me um, because I love to see that. When you think that everything is going wrong in any show, in any anime, in any TV show, and then a bunch of your friends will show up and say, yo, we got you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. You know what I mean? When everybody showed up because they brought everybody back. And then in, in, in this anime, you have them show up because I'm like, he was going to be killed. Deku gave him a couple more seconds to show up. Boom, boom, bada, bada, bing. Two shots to the legs. Let's get it, man. They showed up. I thought for a minute they, they was going to capture that dude, but I'm going to try to remember his name. His name is kind of hard to remember. That dude with all them hands on him. But he, he got a decaying ability, whereas if he touches you, he can decay whatever he touches so that's that's pretty it's a cool power you know very fitting for a villain to be honest you know um warping they say it's pretty rare so for a villain to have that is very troublesome for them i don't know who the, who is that in the in the I guess that's going to be probably the villain for season two that guy that showed up 
at the end credits what the hell is that at the <laughs> on the end credits i'm guessing licking his lips and everything we get to see that guy for season two so this season was great man from start to finish they did a great job of the, basically the introduction of this series and to give us a dope fight at the end pretty cool stuff kind of reminds me of season one of one punch man even though one punch man started out a bit slower than this i would say um i don't think one punch man got to they didn't get to the um to the point of the anime until probably around episode five of season one so for for this one from the get-go you understood what was going on i like when anime develop things the first one or two episodes you should have me hooked on an anime if it wasn't for you guys i probably would have gave up on one punch man again because i told you guys i watched a couple episodes of one punch man and i did not like it it was like okay we got an overpowered dude what's the point of this anime but it did pick up and now it's become one of my favorites so um when it comes on to this anime they established everything from the first and the, the first two episodes of of the season you knew what this was about so you were already pulled in the music i mean the music the animation everything about this just fits together and i'm happy for it i'm really like i'm if you guys don't know i'm in love with madhouse madhouse is my favorite animation studio that does anime like from ever since i watched um from ever since i watched uh, was it ippo was the first one i think it was ippo and i know they did season one of one punch man i know they did hunter hunter i know they did um what's the name of that death note um and i've watched all of those so they're like my favorite that does anime i'm just i'm warming up to um um I'm, I'm trying to remember the studio that does um attack on titan i don't remember them but i like them too <laughs> i like them too i know they're doing vinland so um so i'm definitely looking forward i am going to be doing i think i'm going to be doing villain to vinland tonight to be released tomorrow so we'll see we'll see how things go but anyways man thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man and i will see you guys for season two coming up sometime by the end of this week season two should be out so thank you guys so much and i will see you guys for the next one peace